everyone, and welcome to another episode of In the Studio. I'm Lynn Weaver, I'll be your host today, and the topic is how to receive an online high school diploma from Yolo County Library. And with me to talk a little more about this very innovative program is Scott Love. He is the Yolo County Library Regional Manager. Right. Welcome, Scott. Thank you. And Susanna Quezada de Luna, who is a graduate of the Career Online Pro um, High School program. That is right. Thank you very Welcome. much. Welcome. And thank you very much for being here thank to you for having tell me. us about this very nice program. So I think, Scott, I'm going to start with you. Um, can you tell me how was this program creative, conceived, and uh, when, about how long ago? The, the program was conceived by the California State Library. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about six or seven years ago. They piloted it at um, Los Angeles Public Library, San Francisco Public Library, Sacramento. Yes. Public Library uh, piloted the program. And it was a huge success. They had people uh, waiting to get into the program to try to get their diploma. And they opened it up about uh, almost exactly four years ago to other libraries to apply. I had just started here about four and a half years ago. And I just saw it and immediately thought this is something we needed to do for the community. Yes, uh, indeed. So can you tell me a little more about uh, uh, how you've organized, implemented the program, and who is eligible. Uh, don't go into great details, but just about, you know, and uh, whether there is a fee associated right. and things like that. Right. Yeah, things so, that people want to know. <laughs> right. So the State Library was great because they kind of helped us handle all the logistics of, of, of getting started. And uh, we merely just had to talk to the State Library about how many spots we wanted uh, for students. Mm -hmm. And the State Library paid um, all the fees up to uh, half of the students we wanted. So there are other fees involved too. We wanted 20 students, so they paid for 10, and then we had to raise funding for the other 10. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, uh, the Yola County Office of Ed covered most of the costs Good. for those other 10 students. So for the students, there's no cost. Oh, that's wonderful. It's completely free. Yes. Um, and the nice part is uh, it is a full-on diploma. They get a career certificate also. There's an, uh, numerous careers. There's a child care, um, business management, um, a security certificate. There's, there's eight different ones. I can't remember them all. So when you say a certificate means what they are, um, what they are qualified and uh, accredited, if you like. Right. Yeah. They get, yeah. Yes. They, yeah. Like an accredited certificate for, mm -hmm. for doing that. And that's, that's part wonderful. of the, yes. the program. The nice thing is also is that students get to um, transfer any credits they may have mm -hmm. if uh, they've already gone to high school. So some students can enter the program literally needing one or two classes plus the career classes. That sounds and wonderful, the, especially if you've been a dropout, you right. know. Um, and, and the credits uh, from your local county uh, high school or anywhere in the country? Anywhere in the country. Anywhere in the, in the world, really, although it's very, very expensive for international students who try to transfer credits yes. over. So the ones that we've had, including Susanna, um, have found that that's not really an option. And so they take the entire program. They have 18 months to do it. Mm -hmm. So uh, she had to do the entire high school uh, in 18 months. Yes. And you there. I'll come back to you. Yes. Let me just continue with Scott and uh, ask him, uh, so, so tell me, what does the application involve for, for the applicant? Uh, do they fill out a form? Uh, it's a very simple process to, oh, to, wonderful. to be eligible. Um, they only had to be 19 years old and a county resident. That's essentially the whole eligibility. There's a, uh, an assessment thing they do with the state library. But really, that's just it. And it's, it's gauging how serious, it's a formality. They, how serious they are, really, because mm -hmm. that is it. Um, it costs the library um, a, a little over $1,000 per student to go into the program. $800? $800? $1,000. Eight, 
one thousand dollars for every yeah. student, and yeah. actually we pay it, and, and the state half pays that. Yes, essentially. So um, they have to give you an assurance that they're going right. to end, uh, yeah. they're, they're going to graduate. And what about language programs? Because I, I would imagine that some uh, some students are not terribly fluent in English. Right. It is a full um, high school diploma. Mm -hmm. So to get a high school diploma in the United States, it has to be in English. Yes. Or GEDs don't. Yes. Um, but the full diploma gives them the ability to go on to a four year college, college or any type yes. of college um, much better than a, a GED does. Yes. So, so there do, is nothing for language. Do you assess their language proficiency or, or you just trust them that they'll be able to do the work? What they do is they have to take a to, uh, a quick class to start. Mm -hmm. After they finish that class in time, then we'll uh, call them in and interview them. So we do a little bit of an assessment, but yes. we've accepted almost everyone into the program. And then staff, and well, they're provided a counselor from the high school online that they can speak with and help them along. Yes. And uh, we also have a, a very caring uh, staff member, Joan Tuss, mm -hmm. who will work hand in hand with them if she needs to. Sounds like a wonderful program. Um, Susanna, you have graduated from this uh, program and you also have career certificates. Uh, yes. Well, I want to, if it's not too much to ask, I want from start to finish you to tell me your experience. How did you think of this program? How did you, you know, decide to apply and was it hard, uh, you know, all of that. <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. Yes, um, I remember um, I went to the library that day and I was looking forward for some classes, for something. Yes. I was focused on the GED, remember? And then he asked me, why you don't go to the high school instead of the GED? And I said, okay. But at the beginning I was like, I'm not sure, but he encouraged me. Yes. He did, and he talked to me about this program, program and yes. then I got excited. Yes. And so I guess your high school, uh, I guess your schooling was not in the United States, no, right? No. Where was it? Actually, actually, I have my high school in Mexico. Okay, yes. But for me it was a lot of trouble to get the whole papers. As Scott transferred. was saying before, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So then I say, you know what, I'm looking forward to um, encourage myself to improve my English. Yes. And so this program, it was perfect for me because I was totally in English. Yes. And plus having a career of a child de development and it Is was that great. what you chose? Child, child development? Yes. yes. And I'm so delighted to do it. I'm That's fantastic. Happy. And child development, is this something in a school? Or uh, where, where do you do this child development? Tell me a little more. Everything was online. Everything. No, but afterwards, when are you planning to, oh, yes, uh, yes. to teach? I, I am, I am. Mm -hmm. Well, I have different plans. Mm -hmm. But one of them is, is that. So right now, after I finish my, my high school, I start doing um, helping teachers in kindergarten and first grade. One in West Sacramento and one here in Davis. So that's, great. that's how I'm starting. And I'm sure you've, you can do a lot of very good. Uh, yeah, I was a reader for uh, kindergartners here in Davis for a little while and I can see the whole spectrum of development of each child and uh, some really need some uh, help. So yes, great. Yes. So tell me more. Were you discouraged at first? Um, well, just a little bit about my high school. It, it was a lot of challenge for me mm -hmm. because the lack of my English yes. and a lot of insecurities of myself. That is, it was the first thing. But uh, I have all the support from them, from mm -hmm. my tutor, from the school, which is um, um, Smart Horizon. Yeah, Smart yes, Smart Horizons. Yes. And well, your English is, is excellent, as a matter of fact, but it's different when you have to write it and to do all yes. the other things yes, in English. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So I have, 
I had people helping me, encourage me. My kids, they were very patient and caring. So I How I many did children great. do you have? I have two boys. Two boys. How they're, old are they're they? Already, I they're already um one is seventeen and the older is twenty. Oh, good. So they helped you? They helped me with English, yes. Yes. Oh that's great. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure they're very proud of you now. Yes. yes. They were is is there so Overall, was it a good experience? For it was you? the best experience for me. Yes. Because I did this after, right after my divorce. Yes. And that helps me a lot to keep my mind in something very positive and yes. take my life back in control. And it was, that's, that's it was the best thing that happened to me. And yes. I'm so, yes. so happy. Um, do, you, um, do you see ways, uh, maybe one or two ways uh, that you've already talk to Scott about how this program can be improved from your point of view? Um, honestly, the program, the way I see it, and it works perfect for me. It was just perfect. The only thing that I noticed, it was a little bit, um, how can I say? It can maybe be improved. Um, taking notes for people who their first language no, is not really English. So that was, your notes, uh, uh, your notes. That's what it makes me to to stay. You know, to take so long. Oh, but you did it so quickly. <laughs> I did. I did. Yeah. But it, it was some. Um, um, what that would was you the only prefer? thing that I... Yes. What would you prefer? That you don't take as many notes? Or, or no, for no. me it was perfect, but I mean for other people. Oh, I see. For other people yes. who their English is not at the same level my English is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes, but I think I do. For me that was just perfect. Yes. But I noticed that one of the requirements, one of the, uh, uh, one of the uh, homeworks is also an essay. Yes. So, so that uh, you should get used to taking notes and to writing, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. But this is good feedback. Thank you. It is. So, um, I'm, and again, congratulations. Thank you very much. It's wonderful. I can see how happy you are. Yes, I am. Yeah, I have children and I know that when they first very little, you know, I wanted to get my um, my life back, uh, my intellectual life. Um, Scott, um, can you tell me a little bit, this, by the way, before I forget, if you want more information, you can contact, uh, the, the, the website is Yolo Library. Yolo County Library. YoloCountyLibrary.com. Dot org. Dot org. Forgive me. It's okay. Uh, YoloCountyLibrary.org, and uh, it will probably display uh, on, the, on the program. And um, Scott, um, what type of what is the the range or the spectrum the uh, the um, of type of people who would want to come to this program from your experience? Well, it you know there are other programs that you know the adult education runs and stuff yes. to help people get GEDs or even diplomas. Uh, this is a real niche because people that are busy with their with their life with their children with jobs. Yes. They do this at their own pace, essentially online. online. Yes, yes. And I mean, we even had one student do the whole program in five months. She wasn't working at the time and just did it. Powered through the whole thing really quickly. Um, mm -hmm. So that's a big advantage uh, that you know, ha not having to go into a classroom right, on a regular schedule and being able to do it at, yes. at kind of your own pace. Um, what was the rest of your question? Uh, well, the, what type of people oh. take advantage of this? It's really it's people that, for whatever reason, had life events yes. happen to them when they when they were in high school and they weren't able to complete. Mm -hmm. um, we just uh, helped a young lady the other day who's actually homeless right now and living out of her car mm -hmm. to uh, finish up. Her, she finished her uh, and graduated uh, just the other day. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, you know, and like I said, Great. mostly it's just people that, that have had things that, that happened in their life that yes. precluded them from finishing their yes. diploma. You can, um, by the way, um, to the audience, uh, you can find more information in the Davis Enterprise. There was a very nice article done uh, by Jeff Hudson. Yes. And also, I'm sure Scott, you would be 
available to answer any other questions if students uh, come into the Davis Library, for example. We're happy to, yes. Good. I'm afraid our time is up. 15 minutes go very fast when <laughs> something is very interesting. So I'd like to thank you both, Scott Love and Susanna Quezada de Luna. Thank you so much for coming here with me and for all you do for our community. It's really wonderful. And thank you all for watching. You may want to see this program again. And if you do, you can go uh, to our website, dctv.davismedia.org. And maybe while you're there, check out some of, of our other programs. We have uh, interesting topics and outstanding guests. So from all of us here at Davis Media, thank you for watching and see you next time.